polynomial functions. First, what are the polynomial function? We learned it before, what are the function? And we say, we call the relation as a function. If every element in X has only one image in Y, today we will take an, a special case of the function, which is called the polynomial function. What is the polynomial function? And when we call the function as a polynomial, we have two conditions. The first condition, the domain and the codomain of this function is a set of real numbers. This is the first condition. Each of the domain and the codomain of the function is a set of real numbers. This is the first condition. And the second condition of the polynomial function, the power of the variable x should be a natural number. Natural numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. Fraction or decimals or negatives not allowed in this case. Okay, now with the definition of the polynomial function, the function f from r to r, where f of x equal a0 plus a1x plus a2x power 2 plus till you reach a n x power n. This is the definition of the polynomial function. Every a here represents a real number. So any letter with a, that means a real number. And the variable here is x. And we call this as the rule of the function. We call it as a polynomial function of degree n. And now let's learn what is the degree of the polynomial function? It is the highest power of the variable in, the in its rule. For example, ex some examples for polynomial functions. The first one, f of x equal 3. It's polynomial function here without variables. Or here we have a variable x power 0. So it's a polynomial function of 0 degree. And this is the second one here. It's a polynomial function. If the domain and the codomain, the set of real numbers, and here the power of x is x power 1. So we called it polynomial function of first degree, and it has another name which, he called, which is called linear function. The third example, here we have x power 2 and x power 1. So which one of them the highest? The highest is power 2. So it's polynomial function of second degree. Now with some examples for functions which are not polynomials. The first one here, x power 3 plus root x minus 3. Here it is not polynomial function. Why? Here we have square root x. And if you put any negative number under square root, it will be undefined. If we substitute here with negative 2, you will get root negative 2, which is not belong to r. So it will be not undefined in this case.